In this video, we're gonna tell you seven reasons why you should not get a munchkin cat. Munchkin cats are super cute, and they're known for having short little legs, round eyes, and cute faces, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we're gonna share seven reasons why this cat may not be best for you. So let's get started with number one. The first reason the munchkin cat may not be best for you is because this is going to be an indoor only cat. Because of their short legs, they're just not gonna be able to defend themselves very well outside and they're gonna be very curious and wanna go outside. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that they stay inside. If you don't wanna deal with this to make sure that every door's shut and that they don't accidentally run out, then another cat breed would be better because it'll be very important to make sure that they never get outside because they won't last long out in the elements and defending for themselves. So if you get a munchkin cat, just know they need to be indoor only and it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure they stay inside. The number two reason why a munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they can't have any big jumps. Unlike other cats that can jump up on counters, cat trees, up in windows, top of couches, this cat just can't jump like other cats. So even when you set them down, it'll be important as the owner that you put them on the ground or put them on a low place because when they jump down from a high place, they could injure themselves. So again, this is something that you need to be aware of if you're gonna own this cat. Unlike other cats that can do just about anything, never get injured and have nine lives, this cat's a little bit more fragile and it's one that you're gonna have to pay attention to as an owner if they get in a place where they can't get down. Number three reason why a munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they need you to play with them. Like we just said, they can't entertain themselves quite like other cats. Other cats can run, jump, get on high places, and do a lot of curious things, and they'll definitely entertain you, but not the munchkin cat. They need you for that physical activity. Run a laser, play with a mouse, a ball, string. So it'll be up to you as the owner to play with them more than you would with any other cat breed. So if you don't want to do this, you should look to another cat breed. But if you're up to the challenge and want to play with this cute cat, then a munchkin cat will be perfect for you and your family. Number four reason why a munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they'll need your help grooming. Most cats can groom themselves and they do it pretty much daily. But a munchkin cat won't be quite like this. It'll be up to you to make sure that you help clean their coats, give them a good brushing, because sometimes they just can't reach some of the places that other cats can. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you do this on a weekly basis. If this is something you don't wanna do, then a munchkin cat may not be best for you. But if you don't mind grooming them once a week, even daily sometimes, then a munchkin cat can be perfect. The number five reason why the munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they have separation anxiety. This cat wants to be by their owner as much as possible. Some cats are more independent, like to do their own thing, like to hide under couches, but not the munchkin cat. They want to be around you as much as possible. So if you're someone that's gone a lot, you're gone all day, or you're gone on long trips, this cat won't be best for you. They want their owner around as much as possible. So if you're gone a lot, the munchkin cat won't do well, will get anxiety, stressed, and could damage your home. So it's something to be aware of if you get the munchkin cat. Number six reason why a munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they like a quiet house. Like we've said earlier, this cat is a little more docile, a little bit more laid back, and not as extreme as other cats. Some cats really do well in busy homes, but not the munchkin cat. They like a quiet home with one or two people, not a lot of kids, other animals running around. They like to be calm, chill. They don't do a lot of jumping and playing. They like to just hang by their owner, calm, quiet, and they like to just chill. So if this is something that you have, then you're in for a great treat. But if you've got a busy home, it could be very difficult for you and your family. And the number seven reason why a munchkin cat may not be best for you is because they don't like change. If you're planning on moving soon, adding someone to the family, getting another cat or another dog, then a munchkin cat may not be best for you. But if you're pretty well settled, you've got your kids, you've got your dogs, whatever you have set up already and you're not planning on moving or making any big changes, then a munchkin cat will be perfect for you. They like their space, they like their routine, they like their people, and they like to just hang and chill. This is a docile cat that's super cute, likes to hang with its family and just relax. So if that's something that you can do and you can provide, then a munchkin cat will be perfect for you and your family. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the munchkin cat, and we'll see you on the next one.